I've been sitting here for like the last five minutes trying to figure out how I'm gonna intro this video, but this is the best I could come up with. It's tutorial time. Let's go. Before we start this tutorial, we need things. Here are the things that we need. So the first thing and really the only thing that I don't have a substitute for is the ornaments because it's a specific shape. And yeah, you could definitely cut this out of cardboard and just sandwich the cardboard together. But I bought these cause I'm lazy. So <laughs> here we are. But these I bought on Amazon and I'm gonna leave links to everything that I feel like is important and useful in the description. You will also need some paint, paint brushes. You will also need a glue gun and glue sticks, pom-pom balls, doesn't really matter what color or size, some felt. It's very convenient, this pack. It has literally every color in very conveniently sized square swatches. Some scissors, an X-Acto knife. The Posca pens I like to use for line art because you have so much more control with these than you do with a paintbrush. And also it's a lot less messy and it's a lot less for you to have to clean up later. A paint palette because, you know, it's useful. Some festive twine. <laughs> Sounds like such a fart. Some festive twine. The ornaments technically come with a hanger, but spoiler, I'm ripping it off. If you don't want to use the one it came with, you can make a new one. All right, so now it's time to get started. First things first, we got the ornament. And we're just gonna rip the hanger off. Here's why. Yes, sleepy. I don't know why I'm yelling at you, I'm sorry. So after ripping the hanger off, the first thing that we need to do is prime the ornament. I used a heavier body acrylic for this because it goes a lot further and less coats. Also, I've noticed the heavy body acrylics dry a lot quicker, which is cool, because then you don't have to wait as long to do the next step, which is happening now. So the next thing you're gonna need is red and white felt. For the white felt, we're just gonna cut some little teardrop shapes for some ears, because this, is a bear. And then we're just gonna use a little bit of pink paint to add the inner ear color for the ear. <laughs> and then hot glue the center and kind of squish it so that it's ear shaped. And then I'm just taking the X-Acto blade and cutting a little hole to insert the ear into. Now, when I was trying to decide what I was gonna make with this. I went through a couple of design ideas because with this shape, it could be a lot of things. It could be a dog, if you ignore the bear ears. It could be a mouse, or it could be what it is, which is a bear. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use the black Posca pen to draw the face on because again, I feel like you have a lot more control with this. And I'm adding some eyelashes and a nose and blush apparently. <laughs> And then I'm turning the bottom of the heart shape into some arms and then a little face. Now you could just leave her like this, but I decided to give her a goofy facial expression and also make her hold a coffee cup. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like it was more festive somehow than a plain polar bear, even though polar bears are inherently festive. But there she is. So for the next one, we're making a gnome. And you could do this a multitude of ways. You could just use felt for the hat, but I already got all of my acrylic paints out, so I'm gonna paint it. So I'm painting pretty much the entire bottom half of the heart to create the hat, which is basically just a triangle. And then I'm just painting a rectangle under the hat and then another smaller rectangle under that because that's his face. I'm giving him some blush for reasons. And then I'm using the white Posca pen to make his eyes and a little smile and some creepy pupils. <laughs> okay. And then comes the creative liberties part where you decide which pom-pom you want to be his nose. I like both, but I ended up going with the smaller one. I think he looks creepier with the smaller nose. I guess that's why. And then again, you can pick whatever color you want for the pom-pom on the top of his hat. I was originally gonna use the green one, but then I saw how well the red one matched everything. So I just decided to go with that one. And then I'm just making the ornament hanger. I just glued it and then glued the pom-pom on top of it. So there's those two. So for the last one, I kind of fell in love with the little mouse, so I have to make them. It's important. So for this one, I'm just using pink, red, and white felt. For the ears, I'm just cutting out two circles, and then I'm just gonna paint the inside of the ear with some of the pink paint. And then I'm just cutting two little pink rectangles and then giving it like a fork shape on the end for their little feet. 
And then again with the Posca pen, I'm drawing the face. And then adding some lines for the legs and the little arms. Uh oh, fix that. And then cutting some holes at the top again to insert the ears into. I'm just using the exacto blade to poke the ears in. It works surprisingly well. And then I also have to cut a tail. It's just a long rectangle. And then I'm inserting that the same way as the ears. And then I'm just gonna use the glue gun to glue the little feet on. Now for the last part, they need a scarf. So I'm just putting some glue on the side and then cutting out a couple of rectangles to make it look like the scarf is folded over. And then I'm just inserting the ornament hanger again. And there we go. These ornaments took me a little bit less than 15 minutes each, so it's not a long craft. I feel like the thing that takes the longest is just deciding what colors you want to use, because you could literally turn these into any color bear, any color mouse, any type of gnome, which is part of the fun because it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can turn it into whatever you want. And if you end up doing something differently than what I did, please tweet me and show me because I love seeing what you guys make. It makes me so happy when you send me pictures of things that you or your kids made because you watched my videos. It makes me cry, but not like a sad cry. I love it. Thank you. Which means that that is the end of this video. But I will see you guys in the next one with some kind of Christmas craft because we've got two more weeks to go. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you next time.